people, it is Alicia here, and today we're gonna do some fun stuff. So I posted on the comments on YouTube if you guys wanted a tutorial on this painting that I did. I honestly was just so bored, and um, yeah, I wanted to try something new. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Honey is obviously joined with us right now. So today I'm just gonna kinda take you step by step on the process what things you need. It's honestly really simple, and yeah, I'm gonna have a good time. Before we get into this though, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already, and also click that notification bell, that way you do not miss a single video. Also guys, I'm gonna do a giveaway, and I'm gonna give away this painting because I want one of my subscribers to have it. So definitely follow me on Instagram, at Alicia Percy if you want that, and also, subscribe to me on here. It'll be coming soon when I hit 50k on YouTube, so yeah! Cool, let's get started. So guys, all you need is just some cardboard to print the stencil on, which I have used obviously a little bit for the previous one. Need a canvas, I just got mine from the dollar store. It's like $15, really cheap and affordable. And then just the paint you need. So I have this cute, really just light purple that I'm gonna use today compared to the pink that I use. I got some black and some white paint to just line it all. And I've also got some spray paint to um, spray paint the stencil on, so yeah. Also, you do need some paint brushes. I just have the ones that I previously used. And these are my previous stencils that I used that we're gonna be printing on new ones today. Just quickly, you can print like small size ones or you can print large size. I think today we're gonna print the small size though because I do like that one better and that's what I used for my other one. Also guys, I forgot to mention, you also need a knife or like a scalpel to sculpt out the cardboard for the stencil. Awesome source. So, what I've done first, I went on to Google and I typed in Louis Vuitton stencil or anything like that. Whatever brand you want, just type in like Dior stencil or Chanel or something like that. So, it comes like this. Now, to get it big or small, I just screenshotted it closer to get a bigger version and then screenshotted it far away to get a smaller version. Now, to get it printed on my cardboard, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to outline this paper with my pen and then cut it out and put it in my print. If you don't have a printer, you can always hand draw it. Awesome, so now that I've done that, you can't see it at all, but basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it out, and yeah. Awesome, so now I've got like an A4 size paper, and I'm going to put it in my printer now so I can print my stencil. Now all I'm going to do, I'm just going to click onto my stencil like that, go to print, and then boom, we're printing it. Now this is when the hard work comes in. I'm going to use my knife like a scalpel and I'm basically just going to cut out all the darkness of the lines and we'll see what we come up with. I also just added the pink because I might do some outlining with pink with the purple. I think that'll look really cute. But anyway, before we do the stencil, I'm actually going to paint this whole canvas purple so it drives why we are doing the stencil. That way we save time on drying. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so now that we've done the first coat, we're gonna wait for that to dry and now we're gonna cut the stencil out. We've got the first one done. We've got three more to go. Oh my god, this thing's gonna irritate us. You wanna make sure you're taking your time with this because you don't wanna muck it up. So guys, the reason why I don't use scissors was because I tried it and it just didn't give the effect that um, sculpting did. And um, it just is more precise when you sculpt it. So that's why I use a knife and not scissors. Okay, so we finished it. This actually ripped off when I was doing it. So I'm gonna quickly tape that on and then we're good to go. Okay, so it's kind of drying now. So I'm gonna put the second coat on it. And then once that's dry, we're good to start spray painting. Okay guys, the second coat is on. Once that's dry, I'm gonna start spray painting this like everywhere on it with my white spray paint. 
So this is something that I did before, I was kind of experimenting with. So I'm kind of going to go off what I did with this. And I'm going to do some cute little pink line of it all. And yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Woohoo! So it's finally dry. Um, some things have stuck to it, which is annoying. But hey, it's fine because it looks great. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this where I want to spray paint it. And then it's spray painting time. If you want to be cautious, I'm just wearing... A glove so spray paint doesn't get on me but yeah I'm just gonna put you guys here and we're gonna spray paint also excuse all the dust thing on my camera I need to get a new one because it's stuck in the lens so enjoy that It's definitely off which sucks, but um, it's fine because it looks great So what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna paint Over the white stuff to make a little bit more detailed and then I'm gonna outline them So as you can see I'm just painting over the white stuff that doesn't look up to scratch And then yeah, we'll see if it looks more crisp So I basically just messed it up because I know it is off <laughs> on here but hey it's fine we're gonna keep going with it anyway because yeah but what I'm gonna do now is why I've crisped all this up I'm gonna go in and line the L's and this circle one with pink just so it has that nice little bedazzle you know so I've currently lined the first row of three so obviously I'm going to go over it like three more times because the pink isn't obviously that thick enough. But yeah, when I'm done I'll let you guys know. It will probably be after I teach because I've got teaching soon. But I'm going to move this into my um, place and keep doing it for you guys. This one here that I made roughly took like three days to make. So this one that I'm doing today I'm trying to do in a day. So obviously this one is a lot more crisp and detailed so this is the one that i'll be giving in my giveaway hey guys so it's later on the day i have to be quiet because honey is currently asleep on my bed and normally she never sleeps this deep so i'm gonna stay quiet i'm gonna repaint the pink so it's more darker and more just defined and i'm gonna go on with my white paint and paint over the spray paint and then do some final touches with the purple and we'll see what the outcome is okay guys so i did another coat of the pink line and then i painted all around the stuff purple just so the white's gone so obviously that's a different color because it's drying but yeah once it's dried tomorrow i'm going to do the white and then okay i guess i'll show you guys the final look of it well guys it's day two i have finally painted all the um spray paint white just to make it a bit oomphier i'm um, going around everything with purple paint so it looks more detailed and this is the final product i know it is off freaking center which i'm so mad about that's my fault but i'm gonna put something here maybe some words or something we will see but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial well guys hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give it a thumbs up and also comment down below what videos you'd like to see next um because i'm really you know inspired to do some more different type of videos i love you guys also so much and yeah have a good day guys stay blessed love you yay that was too many kisses ha, bye